Absolutely beautiful, beautiful track uh, by Mr. Diamond. All right, then. I should have Mr. Diamond on the line. It's Legacy 90.1 Manchester, UK. Mr. Diamond, good evening to you. Blessings, 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 greetings. Yeah, man, blessings. It's a pleasure to be here. Is it? Mm-hmm. I just want to say um, absolutely beautiful track um well all your tracks are nice but this one love you for life seems to be the one that just repeats in my head when i'm when i'm walking around uh, the house <laughs> right 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 <laughs> oh, a nice song, you know? yeah so where do you originate from mr diamond well i'm from jamaica still right okay Born, you know? right okay so you're from kingston jamaica yes i am all right then. So tell us about your the, the beginning of your musical career. You've got a fantastic voice. I don't know if you had singing lessons before, you know, you sounded how you sound or where did it start? When did you find out that you wanted and you could sing? How did it all start for you? Okay. Well, no singing lessons, but um, yeah, um, <laughs> I started out as a, as a young you know what I mean, you know, yeah. back, back, back home in Jamaica when, you know, going to church. Mm hmm. You know, I started out, you know what I mean, being in a church choir, right, you know what I mean? Mommy used to send me to school, Sunday school and stuff like that. And I ended up in a church choir and singing, you get me? And, um, also at school, you know what I mean, I uh, went into a few groups, you know what I mean, a young saint school, you get me? Yeah. So, it really started out at a, at a young age back home in Jamaica. And then um, getting the chance to um, sing on some local, some system, you know, community. So, I, I, I guess... A more crafted, you know what I mean, the old, the old, my old talent at that, you know what I mean, young stage of my life still. Getting oh. the opportunity to, you know what I mean? Right. Okay, so you started in the church choir. So did you actually know you wanted to be a professional singer when you was in the choir or was you just singing in the choir? And, well, and it... No, no, not really. No, not really. I just, we just love to sing. Yeah. Day, really, you know what I mean? It was just all, all about, you know what I mean? Everyone singing and enjoying themselves as youngsters, you get me? Yeah. But the, the, the mere fact that there was just a few of us could really, um, they really see a few of us that had the ability to really to sing, mm-hmm. right? So we were invited to really join the, the church choir. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so was, were you one of the lead singers in the church choir or you no, one? No, you know. <laughs> 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 no, I wasn't one of the lead singers. You know, I always wanted to be one of the lead singers, it? but it, it was not until uh, when um, I joined a few groups in, in at school. You know, I mean, I get a chance to be in the forefront to get me. But as I said, it was it was just more like a learn a, a learning process. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, and a hobby back then, really. Right. right. You know I mean, singing at, at that young age. Okay, so then you started singing with sound systems. Did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Local sound systems in the area, you know what I mean? When I get a chance to go on it and, you know, we do everything and perform and sing, you know what I mean? Because, you know, those times when we used to see the, the, the elders, the, 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 the older ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. Singing and DJing and the sound, everybody enjoying themselves. It was always a frenzy, you know what I mean? So we enjoy seeing that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I end up doing that. Okay, so which which, which um, artist, which big artist did you used to, did you surround yourself um, around any of the artists that are big now uh, at that time? Was you surrounding yourself? No, you know, no, not really. We didn't get them them, them chances, okay. <laughs> the opportunity to really um, be around some of the bigger artists that time still. Okay. But I mean, uh, during those times, I used to listen to you know, what I mean, some of the bigger artists, and I guess I draw a, a lot of my. Um, influence okay from, from, from some of the artists so know, which artists were they uh well you're talking you're talking about artists like um Barry Salmon mm-hmm. right you know I mean Winnie Wonder right you know and, 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 and Garnet Silk artists like those you get me right okay so so you do what reggae lovers rock and dance hall do you and uh, is it r&b is that included as well you know you know at the moment i do music straight across the board <laughs> right okay yeah but i really started out with um you know i mean reggae lovers rock um you know yeah 
Uh, okay, so out of all the genres that you do at the moment, do you do more of lovers rock, more of dance hall? Which is the one you you do most? I think I do most of um, lovers rock reggae. Right. Okay. Because I mean, I I, I realize that I've, I've created a, a, a fan base, a, yeah. a bigger fan base when it comes to the, the lovers rock reggae. I actually started out with um, more like a sing J, like a cultural music and chanting stuff. Yeah. But I I, I venture into the, the you know what I mean the more of um, the lovers rock and the, the reggae. Right. Okay, so are you going to continue doing a, a lot more of the Reggae Lovers Rock? Because, Mr. Diamond, your voice suits this Lovers Rock thing. So yeah. <laughs> are you going to continue to do a lot more of these Lovers Rock well, songs? Well, as, 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 I'll, I'll continue to do a lot more of <laughs> what my fans really ah. love and enjoy. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. So um, who, who have you, where have you performed? Up to now, well, uh, well um, well, I perform here in um the UK, right? I've, I've performed in a couple of um Caribbean, you know, what I mean, islands, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I've, I've performed in Trinidad and Tobago. I've performed in Saint Kitts and Nevis, yeah, right. I've performed in Africa, uh-huh. right. How was that, by the way? How was it? How was it in yeah. Africa? How was the reception there? It was. It was. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. I get, to, to date, it's still one of my biggest um, perform- crowd. Oh, actually, Africa, right. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of the biggest cr- crowd I've performed, other than um, um, here in the UK, Riverside Festival. Yeah. So I, I performed in, at Riverside Festival, and I did, there was, it was a great turnout, a big turnout. Well, apart from that, Africa is, you know I mean, the, the, the biggest one yet. <laughs> wow. Okay, so have you recently performed, um, well, recently, we've, we've not been able to do anything <laughs> recently, but, you know, before all of this, uh, when's the last time you performed in Jamaica? Uh, I performed in Jamaica, I think this was um, in 2017. Oh, 2017. And uh, yeah. is the reception very good over? Yes, yes ma'am. Very, very good. Fantastic. Okay, and which artist, which big, uh, which big artist have you um, performed with up to now? Oh well, um, you, you, do you mean like share stage with or work with? I, I, either, actually, both, both. <laughs> well, I've, I've shared stage with um, John Holt. Wow. Me and Marcia Griffiths. Oh. Right, um, Mighty Diamonds, yeah, Sanchez, Taurus Riley, Queen Africa, you know what I mean? Um, Beanie Man, um, whoa, um, Busy that, Signal. That it's is been, amazing. Quite a lot, quite a lot of the, uh, bigger artists. Now, I didn't know that, so I'm glad I asked that yeah. question. I had no right. idea. Yeah. yeah, Big Youth. Right, um, okay. Quite a, quite a, a, a good amount of, um, you know what I mean? artists that's out there in the business um i've done work with there's some that i've done work with too like um loot on fire wow I've done collaboration with loot on yeah, fire i've done yeah. collaboration with um warrior king Why? right i've done collaboration with um basie that's um a former tok member okay right i've done collaboration with busy signal right and, um I've done collaboration with some of um, UK artists like um, Peppery. Right, okay, Peppery. yeah, yeah, Peppery, yeah. Hope um, he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done work with um, Jamania. Right. And another UK artist, I think he's based, he's based in, in Leicester. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. I've done quite a good amount of um, collaborations, really. Right. Okay. And you're still gonna continue. You, 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 you've not got a date in your head where you're gonna say, you know what, it's time to retire. That, that's not crossing your no, mind at the no, moment. No. I mean, the first of a musician, I don't, I don't <laughs> ever think we, you know what I mean, think of retirement because uh, music, though, have no age, does it? No. Exactly. Yeah, no. There you go. There you go. Right. <laughs> um, as long as, as long as I'm able to sing mm-hmm. and perform, mm-hmm. then. That's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what albums have you got out? Actually, I haven't, I haven't had, um, dropped any album as yet, but I'm currently working on my, on my debut EP. Mm-hmm. As you speak, you know what I mean? I'm currently working on my debut EP in the studios. 
right? But um, it's been a while. It's been requested for a while now. So, you know what I mean? I just wanted to make sure that when it's dropped, then it's something there for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Something there for everyone. Right. Okay. Fantastic. And, um... I and I'm sure a lot of the listeners are going to want to hear your beautiful voice over the airways of Legacy 90.1. Legacy 90.1. Yeah. Okay. So um, you can give us a touch of, uh, if you don't mind, we would love to. I'm sure the listeners would love to hear you in person sing Love You for Life. Don't cut it short, Mr. Diamond. Just sing, <laughs> sing away. It's Legacy 90.1, and we want to hear that from you live. Legacy 90.1. I can't afford to lose you. My heart can never beat without your love. I can never make it on my own, no. Tell me, baby, what is wrong with us? Uh I've been waiting for you, girl, you know I'm missing you so much. How can I go on without your touch, girl? I wish that we could keep this between us. Baby, why the rush? Girl, I just want to love you for life, girl. Love you for life and always. And always, yeah, girl, I just want to love you for life, girl. Love you for life and always. And always, yeah. Yes. I don't know what to say. I'm alive in the building. You know, while you were singing, I was like, he better not stop yet, you know. He better, he better, he better not stop yet. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, this is, what, this is what I want all the fans then to do, the supporters out there. Yeah. I've just released um, the album with that song on it, right? Um, mm -hmm. We've just released it on the, um, the 22nd, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. With 10 songs on the project. The rhythm is called the Midday Rhythm mm -hmm. album, and it's the extended version, right? Yeah. So... I'm urging all the fans and supporters to go there and get it. Go and get it. It's 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 an album to have. It's a it's a must have. Mm -hmm. And with this song and and loads others, yeah. loads of other great nice songs in it. Yeah, and I'm going to touch on that midday rhythm actually before uh, the end of the show. I'm going to touch on. I'm, I'm going to let them hear. I'm going to give them a touch and let them hear um, some of the tracks. I'm not going to touch on all of them. You're going to have to go out and get that album, listeners. But I'm going to touch on some of them. But I know it's obvious where they can get it from. But just let us know where the the places where this album can be taken from. Okay. Well, um, it's it, it's it's available online and all um music platforms like um, iTunes, Amazon, mm -hmm. Napster, eMusic, mm -hmm. right, um, Google Play, mm -hmm. right, Spotify, you know what I mean? It's out there and all of those um, online platforms to stream and download. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one question I forgot to ask you, Mr. Diamond. Who produces your music? Well, I've worked with, I've worked with loads of different producers um, from, from, from Germany, France, Italy, um, Africa, Jamaica, UK, uh, America, all mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. I've worked with loads of different producers, right? You know what I mean? Producers like um, Big League Music, that's from in um, Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, Culture Rock in Germany, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? 149 Records, right? You know what I mean? There's loads of different producers. But, right. but as I said, this production was produced by myself. Wow. So, you know what I mean? Fantastic, I'm telling you. Absolutely. Just everything about the Midday Rhythm. All the tracks on it, listeners, are absolutely fantastic. So, like Mr. Diamond says, go and get yourself the Midday Rhythm. Go and purchase the Midday Rhythm. Mr. Diamond, anyone you want to shout out right about now? Well, first and foremost, all the fans, them, all the fans and supporters 
that's out there that's been supporting Mr. Diamond for over the years. All the musicians and producers that I've been working with to, you know what I mean, get my projects together, you know what I mean. And, you know, just all the DJs that, you know what I mean, supporting Mr. Diamond work, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Bless up everybody. Bless up everybody. Yeah, man. Okay, thank you. So it's been a pleasure speaking with you. And um, there's, uh, there's a lot of things I knew about you and your music, but then there's a good few things I didn't know. So it's been a pleasure um, listening to your musical journey. And I wish you all the best to continue that musical journey. And um, we will link up. And like I said, listeners, it's Mr. Diamond. And make sure you go out there and purchase the, the album that he has um, worked so very hard on call the, the rhythm actually the midday rhythm go and purchase that Mr Diamond it's been a pleasure speaking to you I'm going to touch on your track as you leave um, and all the best for your future alright one, one thing one thing before I go no please. problem right social media right mm -hmm. IG and yeah. Twitter that one Mr Diamond you know what I mean? For all the fans, oh, okay. and fans and supporters. One Mr. Diamond, that's the the, the, the the word one. Yeah. Right, Mr. Diamond. That's on IG and Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Christopher Taylor for Facebook and Mr. Diamond for my um, fan page. Right, just right. repeat that one more time. Repeat all of that one more time. So for IG, it's one Mr. Diamond. That's O-N-E-M-R-D-I-A-M-O-N-D. Mm -hmm. That's for IG and Twitter, one Mr. Diamond. For Facebook, it's Christopher Taylor. And for my fan page on Facebook, it's Mr. Diamond. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. It's been a pleasure speaking to you right here on Legacy 90.1. Mr. Diamond, one love, all right? Give thanks. Blessings. Legacy 90.1. Mr. Diamond. I've got to play this one more time. Oh, 